<laughs> yeah, that's kind of the po mo main point of collecting cards. Um, I just collect. In fact, I actually, in fact, I actually end up using a card combo in this. Well, in this 35 minutes, which will be like the third episode. As far I'm as the it's already 12 watching. minutes past. Damn, I just realized RPGs are long as shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't notice that before. Um, yeah, I mean, well, it's already bad enough. I'm, sorry, I'm only at like the fifth gym. I've already synced like 17 hours. Ooh, fun. Back. Actually, 18 hours. I just checked just to see. <laughs> yeah, 18 hours. I'm only at the fifth gym. Well, actually, no, I beat the fifth gym. Nice. Yeah. I like it that you just have to keep checking every now and then. How long have I been playing on this? I just want to know. Um, yeah, Harry, stop looking at the flowers already. There's nothing oh, there. You're the one who's fucking controlling. Yes, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> if there's nothing there, there's no point to it. Uh, so here we have the first of the mini games for this one. Gnome grabbing and throwing and stuff like that. I remember my favorite mini game was like the one with like you're the car and there's like coins and that air. Yeah, we'll like car mini game. That was one of my favorite. We'll be getting to that soon enough, I suppose. Not in this 35 minutes, I'm afraid, but you know. Um, yeah, because you only get to the bank. Yeah. Well, we get just past the bank, but you know. Mm, so yeah, this is just basically whack-a-mole, only crap. Except Ron's a slow. <laughs> yeah, Ron really is bad at this. Harry's, do Harry's doing this for the first time in his life. I see his flickering. I saw his Ron sprite flickering like once or twice. <laughs> Wow, it's almost like there are hardware limitations or something for the Game Boy games. Yeah, because, you know, obviously the Game Boy is about as powerful as the PS3. Yeah, absolutely. I'm surprised they didn't Especially do more 3D games for it, really. So then we have gnome throwing as well after we've picked them up out of the floor. Oh, I, was, I remember I was always getting screwed over with them. <laughs> well, it's like my least favorite one. Yeah, I don't know, It's it just lasts forever, this one really. Um, Ron, Ron is really, really crap at it. <laughs> like, like, I think the point is, the point of the, you know, gnome throwing thing is to get it past the fence. Ron can't yeah, even do I, that. I couldn't even get it halfway to the fence. <laughs> um, I could. <laughs> I got it over there. Um, it's actually easier to do with the, uh, the, the controller rather than using the actual Game Boy thing. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much how half my throws work. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I would get it over the fence, but that would yeah. be like once in a blue moon. It's just a case of um, practice, really. Par 69. <laughs> 69. See, that's like that's more accurate. Uh, hey. I actually went over the fence. I'm doing better than me. <laughs> <laughs> You're failing to an easy computer. Yeah, to an easy game. To an easy game, yeah. Oh, come on, go past him. I think like, the farthest I ever got in this game was like, wow, that's more like all my <laughs> I don't know why they make you do it four times. Yes, we get the idea, you're throwing gnomes already. So, yeah, I think that's... Well, this is almost Ooh, as bad as Ben throwing his rats. <laughs> You, ju you just love to bring that up, don't you? <laughs> I've only brought it up once. Well, you've only brought it up once today, but pretty much every other day. Right, here's one of the new things in this game, is the fro Frolio, no, the Folio Brutai. Um, or Informer spell here. Uh, this lets you find out about any given enemy in the game. Find out yeah, their... Yeah, you get like this, if you inform spell, like, enemies, Informers, and, like... Yeah. In the overworld, you'll see that enemy, so you'll know what you're about to fight and go against it. I can sell the cloud things. Mm. That was like one of the few things I ever did was like use it. Like after I beat the game like two or three times, and we're like the hell with it. And I just like hair free enemy I fought. I just use the spell on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm. Um, so yeah, here's me just showing off Informus. Uh, you. It doesn't cost any MP to use. You just use it on enemy, and then you find out what they're weak to, what they're resisting against. Uh, if they've got any special effects, any special effects they can have on you, like paralysis or poison or whatever. Uh, and then you can look in the folio brute and they turn up. Anything you've seen but not used Informus on uh, just has a dot. Anything you've used Informus on has a tick. So yeah, there's the hose vulnerable to everything. Pretty much. <laughs> um, Stupid hoses. <laughs> Stupid hoses. Um, 
Yeah, so pretty much everything in the Weasley that house. Ant is like pel pelvic thrusting. <laughs> There's a bit. Um. Damn, Harry! I didn't know you were so weak that you take ten damage on some water. Yeah. Well, you know, he's he's just weak like that. Um. So yeah, basically everything, pretty much everything in the Weasley house is vulnerable to Capendo. Um. So I think after this battle, I do a lot of grinding to find. What's that last spell right after that blue one that you just used? Uh, the last one is Incendio. Oh yeah, that's the spell that's like super effective against like everything. Pretty much. Yeah, that's the spell. But it takes a lot of MP, as you'd expect. Hell duh. I remember Azkaban had a spell like that. It's like just like that. Probably the same spell actually. I don't know. I just caught like. To me, the spell you just used right now was like the water spell. I had, like, the the water spell. I always called it that, and like the red one, the fire one, the green one. I, don't know what, like, I called the green one, but it's like because I had because like I was ten years old, I had no clue how to pronounce the Japanese thing. And then now I can like easily pronounce them. Damn, you almost died, and you only yep. got like four points out of that. Yeah. Um, I always hate that in RPGs so when you level. This is basically what I'm going to be doing for all the battles, is that whenever I find a new enemy, I'll skip the battle, but I'll show off their, uh, their entry in the Folio Brutai. And... What are golden, like, lamps? I don't remember those. Yep, there's... Really I think I found every enemy in the Weasley house. If I didn't, then... Whoops. <laughs> um, I'll, I think I'll show them all off by the end of the game, but... Or well, the end of the project, even, but, yeah. Um... And whenever I do a lot of off-screen grinding, as I've done here, I'll show off all the enemies that turned up in the area. Um, so yeah, off-screen I did a lot of grinding um, just to find all the enemies. And I ended up getting to Flipendo Duo already, <laughs> even though I haven't left the Weasley house yet. So that's quite cool. The toaster is like my favorite enemy in the game. <laughs> toaster. It's just a stupid thing. Well, you know, you're, you're fighting how a- does that thing, How does that vacuum resist the best spell in the game? That's <laughs> It's it's pretty damn awesome vacuum, that's all I'll tell you. What the hell is up with Ron's eyes there? He looks he's making awesome face. <laughs> he is kind of. He's looking too forward for it to be awesome face, but you know, he's he's trying to do an I think he's trying to do an impression of an anime person. Look at me, I'm emotional and deep and shit. And where's Fred and George? They're like the only two good characters in the show. <laughs> yeah, no, screw them, they just pissed off somewhere else. They're doing weed. School? Who needs that? We'll go have some gang wars, <laughs> wars and whatnot. And Harry has to say the spell stupid things. <laughs> yep. Fail. Now, coming up here, we see some awesome stealth moves from Harry. Just, just get ready for this. I always wondered about this place because there's like the other rooms. I was like, can you explore those? Look, that's just amazing. Just hide behind the side of a giant shelf. Come on, they the Malfoys should be able to see him there. Oh, I remember Draco's dad looks like stupid in this game. He it really does. His, his picture. I, I, he looks kind of like a gorilla or something. Yeah. Some kind of monkey. So why don't you take a sprite of Draco's dad and just make him black and he'll look like <laughs> he'll look so perfect. Since it is on the internet, I demand it. <laughs> well, you might. Also, no one, go, no one go to my channel and subscribe to me just because I'm in this commentary. If you're gonna subscribe to me from this channel. You're gonna have to actually watch my shit. Don't just subscribe to me and watch because I, and because people are just gonna be stupid and they're just, I'm gonna get like three random subs after this video is uploaded. Maybe. I hate when people do that. You've got. A, I think quite a few people have got subs because I put them. I put people on my recommended channels, or whatever. But yeah, I'm just like, no, like watch the maybe. watch the videos first. That's the point of them being oh, there. Oh wait, you can go in there? Yeah, I never knew that. <laughs> There's only a witches and wizard card in here, I think. So, really? Yeah, because I did um oh. I did a bit of like uh, I did a sort of practice run. I never not an that. entire run, but like, practice of bit. Course, I'm sure there's like 12 other points in this game or shit like that. Uh, possibly, but I can't really remember most of them. That's like the main one I could remember though, just because like I think it's like Stop the second. Stop talking to that one lady, damn it. <laughs> Well, there is one person that it's this person. If you keep talking to them, eventually she'll give you monies. Which is always good. Harry's an annoying bitch. There you go. <laughs> totally worth it. Is 16 a lot? I doubt it. No, it really, really isn't. I don't think it'll buy you anything, pretty much. Mortis bats are pretty bad at this point in the game. 
Mm. I mean, they're pretty deadly, I mean. Because they're poison. Damn. I'm sure you died like four times. Uh, no, not in this. If you die in uh, Nocturne Alley, then you just get skipped ahead to the end of the area. So I avoided death so I could do exploring, yay! Because that's how I always played the games, just run up this to everyone. This looks like a wall. shitty Halloween store. <laughs> I, think it, I think it pretty much is. Yeah, I think that's all they sell, just Halloween stuff, and they're really bad at it. Yeah. That's every shop in Nocturne Alley. Yes. I don't know if I found all the enemies here, actually, but this probably. This looks like even more shitty or Halloween shop. <laughs> There's a revive potion there, which... Why am I Is showing that off? Is this one of those games where, like, if you use a revive potion, it only heals, like, one HP? Uh, no, it's it's a revive potion that heals you completely, I think. Okay, it is at this I point. It is at this point, at least. It might be that it heals 150 HP or whatever. But, at this point, yeah. It fully heals. And I know that for certain, because I have to use it at some point! <laughs> In this video? Yeah. I died to the boss of Gringotts' place. Did you use the grain spell? Uh, yeah, I did. Okay, because that's supposed to make it, like, slightly easier. Right? Yeah, it does make it easier, but he still killed Harry. What the hell with Harry? He's a twat. <laughs> he is a bit. I think that was what he's known as, the twat who lived. So yeah, there's plague rats as well. Isn't this just a charming place to be? Everything's trying to Dude, poison I'm you. I'm all these damn early game enemies that are resistant to, like, the best spell ever. <laughs> yeah. Screw you, fire! Nothing survives from being set on fire, come on.